Greetings, science enthusiasts. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of motion with a powerful tool distance time graphs. Imagine wanting to understand how something moves, its speed, its pauses, its entire journey. Words can describe it, sure, but a distance time graph, that's where the magic happens. Simply put, a distance time graph plots an object's distance from a starting point against time. Time usually goes on the horizontal axis, that's the x-axis, and distance goes on the vertical axis, the y-axis. Uh, this might sound complicated, but stick with me. It's like a roadmap of an object's movement. Now, you might ask why use graphs at all? Why not just write down the details? Well, imagine trying to understand a complex dance routine just by reading a written description. Tough, right? You'd much rather watch it. Graphs are like visual stories. They allow us to see patterns and trends that might be hidden within a bunch of numbers. With a single glance at a distance time graph, we can instantly grasp the overall motion of an object when it's moving fast, when it's taking a break, and even when it's changing speed. Let's embark on a hypothetical journey to understand how these graphs work. Imagine a car trip. Our distance time graph starts at the origin. That's the point zero, zero. This means at time zero, our car is at zero distance. It's at the starting line, ready to go. As the car drives at a constant speed, the line on our graph slopes upwards. A steeper slope means a faster speed. The car is covering more distance in the same amount of time. Suddenly, the line goes flat. This means time is ticking by, but the distance isn't changing. Our car has stopped, maybe for a quick ice cream break. Back on the road, the line slopes upwards again, but this time it's even steeper. Our car is speeding up, excited to reach the destination. Finally, the line curves downwards and meets the time axis again. This means our car has returned to its starting point. The journey is complete! Distance time graphs are not just pretty pictures. They're packed with mathematical information. Remember how a steeper slope means greater speed? We can actually calculate the exact speed using the graph. Speed is calculated by dividing the distance traveled by the time taken. On our graph, this translates to finding the gradient of the line. To do this, we pick two points on the line and calculate the change in distance, the vertical change divided by the change in time, the horizontal change. This gives us the speed of the object during that specific part of the journey. And there you have it. Distance Time Graphs, a powerful visual tool that unveils the secrets of motion.